Science Today is big, bold and visionary. It demands increasing computer power. New e-science research methods that exploit advanced computational resources, data collections and scientific instruments revolutionise discovery. The continent of Europe has many and varied scientific institutions and to address this avalanche of new data, over 24 countries have joined together to create a combined infrastructure. This toolset is to be known as the European Grid Infrastructure. EGI for short. This new European facility, based on national grid initiatives and coordinated by the EGI.EU organization, allows European researchers to pool resources and distribute the load worldwide. This means they can collaborate virtually to analyse more data and use more computer power than they could ever do just within their own organisation. So EGI not only provides a continuous research service helping to integrate researchers from across Europe, it also enables research that was previously impossible. EGI builds on the success of previous EU-funded grid projects, such as enabling grids for e-science or EGEE, Baltic Grid, SeaGrid C and cooperation with the Nordic Data Grid Facility. Thanks to EGI, discoveries made by researchers benefit everyone. They help to solve some of the grand challenges of our day, such as modelling climate change, developing new forms of energy, finding cures for pandemics and predicting seismic activity. One example is the Wisdom Project, which has used the grid infrastructure to analyse potential new drugs for malaria, doing in two years what a single PC would have done in 420 years. That's a long time and a lot of victims. The EGI services could only be provided thanks to the close interaction of six key elements. First, high-speed fibre optics. The infrastructure uses a fibre optic network called Géant, dedicated to the European research and education community, and which, together with Europe's national research networks, connects 40 million users in over 8,000 institutions across 40 countries. Géant is used by projects as diverse as radio astronomy, particle physics, crop research, climate change and medical research. EGI's second element is computer farms. Powerful clusters of PCs distributed throughout Europe that are connected by Géant to form a grid. The third is data. A deluge of data is created every day by the complex problems of modern science. EGI allows the free circulation of data and knowledge across borders. EGI's fourth element is middleware. This is special software that allows users to access computer clusters and share data easily and securely. The fifth element is people to run it. National teams across Europe call National Grid Initiatives, or NGIs, make sure that computer users keep running, the data keeps moving and the researchers can keep working. All these teams are coordinated by EGI.EU. EGI's final element is, of course, the users. The EGI infrastructure is open and its ranks continue to grow. It's now used by over 10,000 researchers from all around Europe. Over a decade ago, this infrastructure started as a tool for the physics community. But EU funds helped to extend its use to earth scientists, biologists, chemists, botanists and many others. EGI's user community is set to expand when used by groups such as the S3 projects. These are a new set of flagship research initiatives in the EU. 
While it is difficult to predict how distributed computing will evolve in the future, what is certain is that the research that EGI enables and the knowledge that it creates will continue to protect lives, enrich culture and serve society, whatever our changing needs. To be part of this project, there is a wealth of information at www.beliefproject.org and www.egi.eu.